Just going back and looking at your uh, first game here, November 11, 2011. 11, 11, 11. <laughs> Did you realize that? No, I didn't actually. That's funny, but that was a while ago. It doesn't need to seem that long ago, though, but. It's been a long road, and I'm, I don't even know how to feel about like tomorrow being my last home game here. It's just very emotional and just exciting at the same time. You're hoping tomorrow's your last home game, right? You're going to end up in the NCAA and not the other tournament, right? Well, yeah, the home game here. But, yeah, I want to keep playing for the NCAA AA tournament and the Big 12 tournament. Just finish up strong this year. What's it going to take right now to, to try to get an at-large NCAA? Win? You just need to keep winning, playing hard, you know, we have to want it. We have to want to get there and just, you know, do big things this year. Would this experience have been the same had Linda not been with you? Um, I'm not even sure. That's a good question, but, you know, I'm just glad to be able to share the experience with her, you know, being here with me and playing all four years together. It's just a great experience. And you were how old when you met her? 11, I think. Yeah, 11. Just uh, where were we? A playground? At a basketball. We met through basketball. What, what level were you playing at that time? Um, that was AAU, so maybe about fifth grade. We first started playing together. Yeah. Fifth grade. Right. Was she like she is now? Yeah, she has always been the same. Silly, goofy, just a great friend. And yeah. You, you went to different high schools to start, right? Yeah. You went to a different high school? The first two years I went to Grammy, then I transferred to Lake Taylor where she was, and it just became even closer friends from there. Uh, did you transfer for basketball reasons, or you moved, or how did that happen? Yeah, basketball, because at Grammy High School, it wasn't a great team. So switching to Lake Taylor, I got a better advantage. And actually, my first year there, we won a state championship. Who did WVU, who were they on first, you or Linda? Do you remember? I would say Linda because Linda brought coming here together to my attention. So, yeah, I was Linda first. She was the one. Were you all for that? Yeah, I was for it. I mean, she brought to my attention. I was like, why not? So, we went out visit together, and I liked it. We both liked it, and we ended up committing. What was it like into your freshman year being able to go to Norfolk there for the NCAA tournament? Remember? Oh, that was a great experience. I love being home, you know, being away from my family so much that year was just different. And just being able to go back home and play was a great feeling. Do you, you still feel like, uh, you know, this Texas team a little bit different than you played the first time? NECA and Pauly's out with the knee injury. Uh, I know Coach Jerry felt that was a game you could have won there in Austin. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think about playing them again? Um, even though she's out, it's, just, it's the same game. They're playing hard. We, we have to play hard and just match their intensity and just get the win. You and, have you and Linda roomed together all the time you've been here, or you live separately? Or? In dorms, we room together. Then after dorms, we got our apartment together. So we've pretty much been together all four years here. All four years, okay. Is, is one of you a neat freak and one of you messy, or how's that going? Um, I say we both pretty messy at some time, but we both clean up and uh, keep it right. Do you talk a lot of basketball away from practice? Yes. Or you, yeah. Like most of the time, the only thing we agree on watching together is basketball. Like she likes watching Family Guy, and I like watching my own thing. So basketball is what I, we mutually agree on. Right. Thank you. Thank you.